Remember what I said about reporters. They go to the White House and they ask the most silly questions. Questions that they generally don't ask the other side. They never say, why are you calling them snowflakes Republicans? Why are you being so hard on progressives? Why do you tease them so? They never do that. But the president decided to create a new name for the extremists in this country. He knows he calls them the ultra MAGA. And two reporters, not one, two reporters made that central to their questioning. And I want you to see how our beautiful red-headed Jen Psaki dispatched it like only Jen Psaki could. Just a question on messaging. Who came up with this phrase ultra MAGA? Uh, why the need to, to kick it up a notch? Well, MAGA wasn't enough? I mean, why now use this phrase? I, I will tell you is the, is the president's phrase, and the president uh, is made those comments himself um, just last week, as you know. And I think what has struck him is how extreme some of the policies and proposals are that a certain wing of the Republican Party that is taking up too much of the Republican Party are are for and are advocating for. And you've you've heard the president talk about this. It's but it's not just obviously uh, putting at risk a woman's right to make choices about her own health care. It is also, as you heard him talk about this morning, Rick Scott's extreme plan that will raise taxes on 75 million Americans making less than $100,000 a year. Uh, it is Rick Scott's plan to get rid of, eliminate, that's what sunset means, get rid of, uh, Medicare and Social Security, something people over 70 in this country rely on. And it's also the obsession with culture wars and wars against Mickey Mouse and banning books. The president thinks that's extreme. That is not what the American people care about or what they want. And so to him, adding a little ultra to it, give it a little extra pop. Go ahead. So then who is an ultra MAGA Republican? I would say people who support that portion of the Republican agenda. So Rob Portman, Susan Collins, Mitt Romney, would they be ultra MAGA Republicans? They can all make their own choices, uh, Ed, and I can we can let others evaluate that. But I would say that the president's view is those who support a plan by Rick Scott, by Chairman Scott, that would raise taxes on 75 million Americans and get rid of, sunset, eliminate, whatever you want to call it, Medicare and Social Security, that's a MAGA uh, position. And that includes the chairman of the Republican National Committee. That's a MAGA position. That is the chairman of the party. So that's what the president considers. But also, obviously, given two-thirds of the American people, according to a Fox News poll, uh, believe that women's, that Roe v. Wade should be protected, if you're on the other side of that, you're supporting an ultra-MAGA position in the president's view. So we'll let, we don't need to name call individuals unless they have positions that are aligned with what he feels is the ultra-MAGA wing of the party. Booyah! Can you believe that? I love the way she handled it. But you know what? It's a, you know, let me tell you what was the best thing that, that she did there. They asked about Ultra MAGA to actually uh, put a pejorative on the president or the president's administration. But she used it instead to define what all the, all the evil steps that Republicans have been doing, one after the other, all the things that will be extreme to the American population, one after the other. That reporter, in as much as they were trying to, to be pejorative against the president, she used that, turned it around, and used it to create the entire narrative showing all what Republicans are doing to hurt the American people. I mean, it was like wonderful. So I'm like, oh yeah, come on, ask her more about Ultra MAGA, because it looks like Ultra MAGA is going to pay off for the administration. Ultra Mega is going to be the word. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.